a renewed mind. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 Solomon said, For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 We are the sum of our thoughts, and we express those thoughts through our words. The enemy works through thoughts because he knows that if a person accepts the ideas he sows, he will be able to easily conquer their will. The enemy usually starts to shoot all kinds of arrows in our direction. As long as we do not accept those thoughts in our minds and we remain firm in our will, we will not suffer any harm. But whoever falls into the trap of the enemy and accepts them will be able to feel how those thoughts grow stronger as they begin to work from within to bend our will. When this happens, we end up spiritually and protected. We become like a city without walls that is easily conquered. One of the ways the enemy often operates is through the media. We the media today, because the audiovisual industry exercises great influence in our society, the enemy wants to bombard our minds with images and words until these produce incorrect actions of different kinds. In other words, the adversary attempts to insert negative and fearful images into our thinking by means of different kinds of media. However, the following guidelines will help us avoid many pitfalls. Television Choose programs that positively affect your life and genuinely build you up. Internet This is one of the areas of media most used in the world of communication today and it is important that we use it correctly. Steer clear of incorrect images immorality and talking to people you do not know on social media music be careful about what kinds of music you listen to because many songs and artists carry messages that can pollute our spiritual lives and affect our behavior. In addition to using the media, the enemy often exercises influence in the lives of the people around us to try and lead us toward destruction. That is why we need to take care when choosing our friendships. Choose people who build you up and bless you when you spend time with them. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 
Nurture your mind with great thoughts, for you will never go any higher than you think. Therefore, think big. I believe the trouble with all of us is that we have a tendency to think only little thoughts about everything, about ourselves, our family, our children, our business. So we get little results. I really believe it is a law. You will get no bigger results than your thoughts are big. Big thoughts get big results. Little thoughts get little results. Thinking big means having a renewed mind and having a renewed mind requires personal contact with the Word of God. The best way you can spend your time is by studying the Word of God. When the Lord called Joshua to lead the people of Israel into the Promised Land, he said, Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 Joshua's success depended on the way in which he filled his thoughts and our success depends on much the same today you have the opportunity to feed your mind with the best food the word of eternal life here are the five questions you need to answer and make the necessary life changes in accordance with what you have read today. 1. Write down four television programs, movies you watched this week. 2. Approximately how much time did you spend on social media this week? 3. What were the 10 songs you listened to most frequently this week? 4. Who are your 5 closest friends? 5. Did you study the Bible every day this week? Thank you and God bless. Thanks for watching.